Hey girlfriend, have you ever wondered what will remove waterproof mascara? Well, I'm here to answer that question for you in today's video. <laughs> Hi, my name is Inga Faye and I am a beauty enthusiast. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of the biggest unknown uses for waterproof mascara. You may not have even thought that you could do this, but you'll definitely find out what that is today. I also will give you six ideal situations on when waterproof mascara is the mascara for you. And last but definitely not least, I will tell you a product that will remove waterproof mascara with ease. You'll never have to worry about taking it off again. Let's do this, shall we? Well, the biggest unknown use for waterproof mascara is that it can be used as a top coat for your mascara. And you may be thinking a top coat. Well, just think about nail polish. We have a base coat that helps your nail polish stay on your nails. And then you have a top coat that gives it a nice little shine. Well, think about that with mascara too. You have your base coat, which would be your lash primer that keeps your mascara on your lashes. You have the actual mascara itself Itself, whether it be a defining mascara, a lengthening mascara, or a volumized mascara that you put on. And then you can put your waterproof mascara on top. And why would you want to do that? Because waterproof mascara is going to also help extend your wear. Because it's waterproof, which means it's not going to be really easy to get off. I know a lot of my clients have done that to extend the mascara wear. The one thing that you want to do when you actually use waterproof mascara, when you apply this, you want to do this after you apply apply your first coat of your defining or your volumizing or your lengthening mascara. The waterproof mascara is definitely the last mascara that you use. You apply it when your lashes have not dried yet. You don't want to put waterproof mascara on lashes that have already have dried mascara on because it's not going to give you the desired result. It could actually lead to clumping when you put another mascara on top of a mascara that's already dried. So it would be in your best interest to apply this right after you have applied your or first coat of the mascara, whether it be defining, volumizing, or lengthening. Do that first and then apply the waterproof. And after you apply the waterproof, you're going to want to comb through your lashes with a dry, clean spoolie that allows you to really separate and avoid any clumping happening in your lashes. So I'm curious, have you used waterproof mascara as a top coat for your mascara to make your mascara last longer? Comment below and let me know. I know when I've shared this with my clients in the past, they were really dazed, glazed, and amazed about this benefit of waterproof mascara. So I'm interested to know what you are doing or what you've done in the past and if this is really going to be value-added information that will help you in your mascara journey. So let's go on and talk about the six ideal situations for waterproof mascara. Waterproof mascara has many benefits and as a result of that, you can pretty much wear it anytime you don't want your mascara to smudge. So I wanted to give you some real-life scenarios that waterproof mascara would be your go-to. So say you are working out, you're going to the gym and you don't want to look like you have raccoon eyes during your workout. Waterproof mascara will help your mascara not smudge when you're working out. I have actually used waterproof mascara when I was running a 5K with my six-year-old son. And when I came out, I came out just as gorgeous as I was when I left the house because I had on waterproof mascara as well as a chroma fusion eyeshadow that has 12 hours of wear and is sweat proof. When you have a mascara as well as an eyeshadow that is sweat proof, you can still look cute when you work out. This will definitely be a time when you would want to have a waterproof mascara. When you work out, which means it would be lifting weights, doing some kind of aerobics class, or even running a 5K. Another great time for waterproof mascara is when you're on vacation. Say you're in some exotic island where you're on the beach right there with the salt water and you're having fun splashing in the salt water. Your eyes won't run if you have waterproof mascara because it is salt waterproof. So you don't have to worry about it in that situation. It also is pool proof. So if you were to actually go into a pool and you dove into the pool with your waterproof mascara, you wouldn't have to worry about your mascara 
mascara smudging and having raccoon eyes because it's ideal for that setting as well. I don't know about you, but I have allergies. My eyes water a lot of the time. And as a result of that, I make it a point to put waterproof mascara on the bottom of my lashes because of my eyes watering. But when you do that, I don't have to worry about my mascara smudging or having raccoon eyes for my bottom lashes because the waterproof mascara is tear proof. I also see this as an ideal thing to wear when you're at a wedding. You could get really tearful at a wedding. I know I cried at my wedding. I don't know about you. Also be great for a ball or prom or even a graduation. These are definitely times where you could potentially be crying. Eyes could be watering and you don't want to mess up your makeup and you want to be cute throughout the night or throughout the day. So grab that waterproof mascara so you don't have any raccoon eyes or smudging. Let's talk about another scenario. Maybe it's raining outside. I know I live on the Gulf Coast and it rains pretty much every day during the summer. So a waterproof mascara is ideal for this type of environment because it's rainproof as well. You want to have on your rain boots, your raincoat, and your waterproof mascara to get you through a rainy day on the Gulf Coast. And then last but definitely not least, say you are in somewhere that has very high humidity. This waterproof mascara is humidity proof as well. So if you're in a place with a high humidity, similar to where I am on the Gulf Coast, you can definitely have your waterproof mascara on when you're having fun in the sun with your waterproof mascara that happens to be humidity proof. Now, who knew that you could have all of these different benefits just from one mascara? Humidity proof, tear proof, of course, waterproof, sweat proof, pool proof, as well as salt waterproof. All of these proofs just in one mascara. With this type of mascara, I'm sure you wonder, well, Inga, how do you take it off? I know I'm not supposed to sleep in mascara and you are so right, girlfriend. And we're going to go into that. But before I share with you the product that will help you take it off, I want to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be uploading a video every Tuesday for your viewing pleasure. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a video. So let's talk about a product that actually will get this waterproof mascara off your eyelashes. We've talked about all the things that it can withstand. How do you remove it then? My ideal solution for removing this mascara is a two-phase eye makeup remover that will actually remove waterproof mascara as well as non-waterproof mascara. It has two phases in it, so what you have to do is actually shake your bottle to make sure that the two phases are combined. And you give a nice squeeze on a cotton ball and the mascara is gently removed from your eye eyelashes without you having to tug or pull because as you know your eye area is very delicate and any tugging or anything like that could lead to wrinkles. So having something that you can just squeeze on a cotton ball, well really shake up in a bottle, squeeze on a cotton ball and gently rub off your eyes is definitely what you want to do especially for this multitask mascara that's going to get you through pretty much everything that you do in life. So that would be the one thing that I would highly highly recommend that you use. The information about this oil all free eye makeup remover is in the description below so you can check it out. But I also wanted to share with you, I do have a mascara wardrobe guide that I would highly recommend for you, for you to get the maximum benefit of your God-given lashes. It gives you several different products that you can use that will help you maximize your true lash potential. So if you're interested in having the lash wardrobe guide, be sure to check out that link in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.